So I've got the sprayer hooked up to my four-wheeler. We don't have running water down here, but we do have this tank with water in it. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this tank up and uh, add the chemical and uh, we'll get going. So I got the sprayer all loaded up and uh, I have to say in one of my other videos, my first attempt of spraying with this setup, my opinion and my review of this sprayer was pretty negative. But I'm going to go ahead and give it a second try. I've made some changes and I looked into getting a sprayer for uh, the back rack of my four-wheeler here, but uh, one with a spray bar was 400 and something dollars from Tractor Supply, so I wasn't going to spend that much money. I've already got this one. I figured I'd try and make it work better. So I got a setup where I could actually hook it up with a pin uh, to the back of my four-wheeler. Last time I had it tied onto the ball and it didn't hold up, obviously. So that should work pretty good. The other problem I had was the spray wand, the handheld wand, I had it fastened right here. There's like a holder place and a hole for the tip of the wand to go. And I had it straight up and down and it kept hooking on things and it got bent. But then I realized that I could roll the tube, the hose up on this. And then on the side here, there's some clasps, clasps for the uh, wand. So that should hold up pretty well. And the other problem I had had was the battery. And I've got that fastened down real good with a strap. So that's not going anywhere. I might even try... Um, to fasten the battery to the wagon somehow but it might might get abused riding there so I probably will think on that a little bit the other problem I'm seeing is the trailer is at an angle so I can't get it totally full of water it's actually spilling out the back on the ground so I might try to figure out a way maybe put a drop hitch into the four-wheeler or something so the trailer is more level at least this way it's up off the ground and it's not dragging so feeling slightly confident in this attempt that it's going to go better so I'm gonna go finish spraying on the food plot if I can get that done in a timely manner I'm gonna go try to spray on our road down to the sugar house and to the camp um, the road's starting to grow up with some young brush and a lot of grass so if we can kill it now it'll save us having to maintain it by cutting and cutting trees and mowing the roadsides which is very time-consuming so this spraying is a labor saver so let's go try it out and see how it goes. So right off the bat, this little drain plug got hooked on something and pulled right off. And it didn't even damage the threads. That's threaded on there and it pulled it right off the threads. So that's pretty cheaply made. And I understand that a drain kind of makes sense. But on this little wagon here, I think it's more of a nuisance than it is a benefit because this thing's so small that you could just tip it upside down if you needed to drain it. And that being so low to the ground is going to do nothing but drag on things. I guess maybe this is only for like a home use on your lawn or something, but I don't know. I'm going to have to figure out, I'll probably figure out a way to fasten that on there so it won't come off. We'll see what else this little uh, trip has in store. Well, it's like I traded one problem for another. I didn't have any problems with the trailer coming off. The trailer went pretty good. The battery stayed on. But now that drain plug is my problem. It came off three more times after I showed it coming off. And it's still leaking now. It just hooks on everything, like them branches right there on the ground. I'm going to have to figure out a way that I can plug that without it coming off or figure something out. So I'm slowly working the bugs out, working out the kinks in the system. So uh, the other problem is these little snaps for the uh, wand, they don't even really hold it. It just bounces right out of there. But I'm going to go ahead. And, I got about half the water left that I started with. It all kept leaking out every time the cover would come off. But I'm going to spread what I've got. The area that's left is not that big, everything else is dying, so I'm going to ride around with this on and see how much I can get done.
pretty well, I thought. I got everything all knocked down and sprayed. Hopefully I got all of it. I can see it in, there's some dead grass over in here. And I sprayed it pretty good, but there's still some green spots in it. And I'm wondering if that's gonna happen over here too, where it was green. This was all green right here. We'll see how it does. I went over the spots that were still green over here in the, in the dead stuff a little bit. So I should kill everything off pretty well. It takes a few days for this stuff to kick in, but once everything's all browned up in here, we're gonna come in and burn this all off. And uh, that way it gets rid of all this grass and it doesn't get all wound up in the rototiller. And then the plan is to come in here with a tractor with a rototiller and till it up and start planting. We need to have it planted by August 1st and today is July 20th. So we'll get the ball rolling on this hopefully and get it done. Even if we're a few days late, it won't be the end of the world, but that's it for that. Um, I might do some more spraying. I'm gonna have to spray the camp road. I'm all covered with seeds. All these seeds come off from the plants that were in there. So I hope you enjoyed that little spraying video. Now that I've finally got this area all sprayed, Shortly we'll be making some food plots here, so that'll be cool. Stay tuned to the videos so you can see the progress of our food plots. Uh, in the next couple of videos, I'll have some updates on the ones that are already planted and uh, show how well those are coming along. So uh, thank you for watching.